Okay, so continuing on with our pressure drills, we've had Elliot play some lengths from the front court. What we're now going to work on is a drill which gets him playing his lengths out of the back corner. Um, getting back to the tee, I've got an obstacle in his path to make sure he takes a very wide route um, back to the tee, so he's working hard on his movement. And then we're going to do some progressions where I'd like to see him play a volley from the front of the service box before he goes to the back of the court and to play the length from the back. And a final, a third and final progression will be where he's looking to play the volley, not always possible, but he's at least going out there looking to play it. If he can, great, back to the tee. If he can't, then he'll take a certain path back to the back of the court, into the back corner and play either before the back wall or after the back wall. For Elliot in this drill, because he's gonna be predominantly under pressure, he's gonna be playing mainly a deep length, getting that ball deep into the back corners. However, if he does find himself in a position of balance where he feels he can put some more pressure on the volley or the, the, the length, by all means, he can play a, a dying rail, a dying length. So let's start the rally and have a look, see what it looks like. Starting from the tee, I'll be at the back of the court. I'm gonna get you feeding, you're coming down, playing your, your length out of the back corner. Then I want you to take a very wide pathway back up into the tee position. Okay, here we go. Good. And. Nice, rack it up. It'll go a little, little deeper. Good, nice shot, all the way to the back, good job. If I hit it a little bit earlier, you see I start to increase the tempo, so Elliot is working that a little bit harder now, good, come across, I might step up and play a little bit earlier, good, out, this is quite an early one so it's really putting him under pressure okay so that added movement is really putting him under pressure I would like to see him add a volley into the into the drill now so I'm going to change a position of one of my rollers and I'm going to put it out here and the reason why I'm putting it out here is once Elliot's gotten from the back corners up into the tee I would like him to volley from what I would call the best case scenario so out in front of that front service box to put maximum pressure on his opponent. So with the use of this roller, this is going to guide him in that direction where I want him to hit. It's a, I want him coming out, hitting the volley, and then he'll come back through the, the two rollers to the back of the court, play his length, back up into the tee. So we're gonna first start with the volley, and then we'll go to the back of the court, Elliot. Okay, here we go. So, volley. Now, all the way to the back. Wide, out, and volley. Great shot. Digging that ball out. Oops, okay. We'll place that up. That can happen every now and then. You might want to place a penalty in that situation where they do five push-ups or 10 court sprints or whatever. That's at your discretion, but it's certainly a good option to have. Volley. Good job, look for the volley. Nice. Okay, we'll take an extra progression now, one more step, and it's gonna be a question of whether Elliot can volley or not. He doesn't have to go to the back of the court. If he can volley, if he can stay up on this tee and volley, that's great. That's ultimately what he wants to do. Nobody wants to run unnecessarily into the two back corners. So he's gonna be up in the tee position. His first movement is always gonna be out here. It's a little bit like, sh I, I would describe it as going shopping for the volley. Each time you go shopping, you don't have to buy something, but it's nice to go out and look. So this is where we want to go looking. Can we buy a volley? Yes, great. Back to the tee position. If we can't, fair enough, then we're going to go back. A little bit parallel with the side wall. We might hit the ball before the uh, back wall, just after the service box, or we might have to go all the way into the back corner. That's the scenario that we're going to see now. Elliot, are you ready? All right, here we go. Great job. Okay, well done. Take a quick rest. What was really interesting in that scenario was Elliot's ability to go forward and look for taking the volley on his front foot and in front of the service box. 
There were a number of times where he could achieve that, but there was also a number of times where he couldn't, but he felt that it wasn't far off. So he managed to transfer back over to his back foot and volley the ball behind that front roller. That was a huge cutoff for him because that saved him again from taking the extra three, four steps to the back corner and then having to get all the way back up to the tee. So for me, that was great. The drill actually encourages the, the player to volley as much as they can. But the most important aspect there is going forward. With the use of the, the rollers, I can dictate the movement and encourage him to be in those situations. If he has to go all the way to the back of the court, it gives him courage. He can create two hitting scenarios. The volley works or it doesn't, or he goes back to the back of the court. Getting him going wide out through the middle, it's not always necessarily the best movement course to take, but it's just making him move more and getting him the feeling that he can cover all parts of the court. It's a great drill.